When we first introduced our MT Top 40, we told you the only criteria was the athletes had to have played at least some of their high school football in Montana. And the number one receiver atop the MT Top 40 moved to the Treasure State in the late 1960s, playing his last couple seasons in Big Sky Country. And when he was all said and done, he left as the state's best all time. Number one is former Kalispell Flathead and Montana State standout, Sam McCullough. That it was. It was the legend, and we always knew about him. And as a kid growing up, I mean, I was so into it. And things are different now. We didn't have the social media. We didn't have the the, the TV. I, mean, I grew up without a TV. So, but just knowing those legends and the Zanons and all those great names from Flathead, I mean, that was my my dream and my goal was to be those guys. So we'd go out in the backyard, and I mean, I was Sam McCollum, the receiver, or I was Scott Zanon, the quarterback. And so, yeah, growing up with those names was pretty neat as a kid. Sam McCollum, who was born in Mississippi, moved to Montana in 1967. That was during his sophomore year, and he would become a three-sport standout for Flathead, playing football during his junior year in 1968, and he would leave the Braves with all state honors as a senior, garnering attention from colleges all around the Northwest. My first year of organized sports, period, was my sophomore year in high school. I was playing intramural, screwing around intramural in the gym, and the basketball coach saw me and said, you should come out and play basketball. Wow, really? So that's when I first started even to think I could play sports. I had no skills, had no talent, had no training. Prior to my junior year in high school, I never even put on a football pad. I never put on a helmet. I even caught a football. And here I am, here it was, you know, six years later, I'm playing the NFL. Never would have thought about it. Sam was an extremely talented athlete. No, no question about that. He was gifted. And Sam had a tremendous attitude about working every day on the practice field. He, he knew he had some uh, strengths, and, and yet he worked like he was the last one on the list. You know, he, he was extremely hard, faithful, gifted, driven athlete. And that, that's what it takes. Standing six foot two, McCollum decided to continue his football career at Montana State, and he became one of the best players in program history. He would go on to set the Bobcats single season touchdown receptions record. How about 12 scores on his way to first team all conference honors? That came in 1972. His 16 career receiving touchdowns still rank fifth all time in program history. Sam McCollum uh, was from Kalispell, and unfortunately was here during a time when the Bobcats didn't throw very much but a talented, talented guy. Um, the, the, the point I want to make about Sam McCollum is that um, we used to watch film of previous years, and he was here before I was here, and coaches would put on film and stuff. And I was a wide receiver, and we didn't throw a lot then either, and, and I didn't get thrown to, my, any, to me anyway much, and I didn't play that much. But anyway, I know the coaches would, would bring out clips of Sam McCollum blocking, because we spent a lot of time practicing blocking, and when you're in a running game, and and uh, running the eye, I mean, receivers do a lot of blocking, and you have to practice that a lot. So we used to watch clips of Sam McCollum blocking downfield and just running guys out of bounds after, you know, locking them up. And, and, and so you have to be a good athlete to be able to do that. But after that, he had a great career with the Vikings and a great career with, with the Seahawks. So um, a, great, a great person, also a great ambassador for Montana State. But had a really nice NFL career after he left here. Well, I remember the University of Montana had a strong safety uh, that really came to play like Sam did. And the two of them collided on the field, physically collided uh, on a pass pattern that we made our living with. Uh, and Sam was the one that was you know, made it work all the time because he always caught the ball, but he had collisions with that strong safety from the University of Montana like you can't believe. Echo, they still echo in my ears when I can still hear the sound of their pads cracking together, and yet Sam was up and at him for another one every time. He challenged the best, played with the best, and was the best. McCollum was inducted into MSU's Hall of Fame in 1993 and then the Montana Football Hall of Fame in 2018. He was selected by the Minnesota Vikings in the ninth round of the NFL Draft in 1974, and that would start a 10-year pro career. Starting off with a couple of seasons with the Vikings, 
where he had guys, Hall of Famers, like Fran Tarkenton, Carl Eller, Alan Page. Vikings actually played in the Super Bowl in McCollum's rookie season. He caught nine passes in 21 games. Then it was off to the Seattle Seahawks during their inaugural season in 1976. And he actually scored the franchise's first touchdown in a 30 to 24 loss against the St. Louis Cardinals. McCollum started 13 games in 1976, catching 32 balls for 506 yards and four scores. In the end, it was six seasons with the Seahawks, 1980 the best year, 62 catches, 874 yards and six touchdowns. McCollum then went back to Minnesota for his final two seasons in the NFL with 281 total catches, 4,131 yards and 27 touchdowns coming during that 10-year pro career. Nobody could outwork Sam. Nobody could outwork Sam McCollum. He came to work every day with his hat on and his lunch bucket, and it's going to take everything you could take with you to even stay on the field with him because he was going to challenge you in every way. Five up, five down. Sam McCullough moving from Mississippi to Kalispell, Montana, and capping off the look at the receivers on the MT Top 40. Mary Annie McCullough, Matt Miller, some great guys in there. Gabe Sulser's career still to come. But of course, every Friday, we also introduce you to the honorable mentions. Take a look at these guys. Definitely no slouches. You can find more about every single one of them at montanasports.com. Richie Melby, MTN Sports.